It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome back to the show, Perry. It's me. Hi, guys. This is my Bourbon Podcast. That's me. Perry uh, <laughs> is shamelessly promoting his, his <laughs> show by wearing, wearing a shirt, but like I can talk. Cool. You can't talk. No. Sarah, what do we have? Uh, we have 2018 Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, the William LaRue Weller and George T. Stagg. So since we have uncorked these in the past, but not this year, we're deciding to do both of these in a special uncorking. Um, and Perry is bringing this one to the table, I am. and we are bringing this one to you the are. table. So we're doing a little, little swapsies. <laughs> I'm so excited. So, um, Sarah, what can you tell us about these? Well, I can tell you that the George T. Stag is a 15 year this year, and the WLW, or William Moore Weller, mm -hmm. is a 12 year. And Fun fact, this year there are less bottles produced of both of these than there were last year. Ugh. So they are even more scarce, and yet here they sit right in front of us. Yeah. The stag is actually almost one proof point lower than the William Ruella, which is not normal. Usually I find the stag to be like one of the highest, if not the highest. Yeah. I always tell people it'll kick you right in the face. <laughs> um, All so right. do why don't we do... Barry, go ahead. Oh. Um, okay, okay. Right. See if I can beat that. We'll go... Stag on the left. Oh, you oh, definitely beat that. Yeah. You see the little, little, little yeah, spray? Yeah, the little spittle. That was nice. Lower proof first. Lower proof, Lower yeah. proof first. Yeah. Okay, so that so, would be... So, left to right. The stag, stag oddly. It's very strange, right? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's... it's. Uh, I just got chills. We, and and we didn't say the... Yeah. Did we say the proof? 124.9 on, I mean, our, on our stag. So little heat on the nose. For and 125.7 <laughs> on our WLW. This will warm you up. Yeah. It, it doesn't smell like a really high proof. No, it does not. No. Chocolate? I know it's weird, but it smells oily and chocolatey. Yeah. Get a nice burst of cinnamon on there. Some berries? Like red berries a little bit? Berries, the slightest bit of like citrus peel. Mm-hmm. But that chocolate seems to be what's a little bit more prominent. Yeah, for me. is what I'm getting. Like a really yeah. silky smooth. When they call chocolate decadent. <laughs> I always hate it when they're like, this $5 chocolate is decadent. It's and decadent. I'm like, no, nah, it's not what I would use that word it's for. It's a $5 chocolate. It's a $5 chocolate. Yeah. But that's how I feel about this. Like if there was ever a time to use that about a chocolate, it would be about this one. The chocolate, I could almost see it uh, being poured over like an almond. Oh yeah, absolutely. Definitely. So Chad. Would I say it's nutty? Is it nutty? Is it a nutty nose? Very slightly. slightly. Very slightly nutty. I'm not not worth the. Nut. But not I can see this drink. being like an assorted chocolates where it's got like some orange zest mm -hmm. and some yeah. a chocolate covered cherry over yeah. it. But like a Luxardo cherry, like yeah. a really good cherry. Like a real cherry. A yeah. real man's yeah. cherry. All right, well, let's. Uh, that sounds. You guys want to dive in? Awful. Let's do it. Okay. All right, here we go. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh. That is a thing of wonder. Oh, this what is gonna, the heck? This is going to take a while. <laughs> this is a thinker. Yeah. It's like the Energizer Bunny. It, it keeps, just going keeps going and going. <laughs> uh huh. Not only Kentucky Hug. I'm getting goosebumps. It's into my stomach already. Yeah, me like, too. It's... Do you see my goosebumps? Oh my gosh. Literal goosebumps. Like this one's down to my six pack abs that I have. <laughs> don't look. <laughs> wow, this, this is, is intense. Something. Obviously. A long finish. I don't think either one of us have taken our second drink yet. Uh -uh. No, it's still going. I, I I am getting the slight nut. I need yeah, a minute. Me too. <laughs> On there. Uh, picking up the chocolate. This is intense. Also. The chocolate, it again is just so prominent for me. Um, but it's so well balanced by Oh absolutely. It's definitely the thing that's coming to the top the most. Yeah. I haven't gotten to like dig into what's underneath that yet. It's definitely the note that's playing the loudest, but there are so many other like supporting Supporting cast. Yeah. So the second sip for me is starting to bring forth a lot more of the a lot more of the baking spices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely a very prominent cinnamon Ooh. note that that pops up there. Wow, the heat's finally coming through a little bit. Too. Yeah. Front <laughs> to middle of the tongue. Yeah. It's a lingering heat. It is. Yeah, you're getting you're getting the barrel on the finish. Oh, the, the spice so just good. remains throughout. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a. I think it's kind of a mixture of clove and cinnamon. I mean, it's almost like an allspice, bit, really. Yeah. But it's delicate. It's not yeah, like it's delicate. Not like. You but know, it lets you know, challenge or right? Anything, yeah. You know? No, but it lets you know it's a stag. I mean, stag is kind of, I think, famous for 
not messing around. <laughs> you know, it gives you the horns. Yes. Actually, it was a 10 point, 8 point. Yeah, so it gives it, you the business. They get locked. We're fighting. As okay. much as I love this, I really want to move on to the Weller. Yeah, so we're gonna take a little pause, get some water, refresh, then we're gonna move on to WLW. Stag? Still, still in our memories. Mm -hmm. But now we're moving on to the William LaRue Weller. This is a weeder. Um, and this is again, 125.7 proof, uncut, unfiltered, BTAC goodness. Oh. Man, that is a different nose. That is. This might be one of the best noses I've ever mm -hmm. noticed. It's like you took two opposite sides of the perfect coin. <laughs> yes. Because they are, like, both of these noses are so amazing, but they're so good and so in, in, in their own unique different way. ways. Yeah. 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 It's like a tiny cup of heaven. I'm getting a little, I'm getting, like, some perfume, maybe some, like, lavender. Oh, a little bit, yeah. Oh, yeah. lavender, interesting. <laughs> Light, fresh linen. Like, yes. Like, a comfy, this mm -hmm. is, like, a... It's fresh and Again, clean. in the way that... Like when you get at something so nostalgic, yes. it yeah. feels like home. It's, mm -hmm. it's it's right. It just smells right. That's All what right, I want to do. Let's dive oh, in, man. Guys. Oh my! It is hotter. Uh huh. Yet gentle. It's hot. Yeah, it's hotter yet gentle. There is a lot of floralness. Floralness. <laughs> like towards the end. I get um, that. As the finish starts to kind of creep up on you, but the mm -hmm. finish becomes something entirely different and it's just sweet and caramely mm -hmm. and so both so delicious but so interesting in their own ways so different this yeah. one has the spice in it but it, it's coming up a lot a lot less forward mm -hmm. it lingers but in a much lower level i would say this finish is a little bit less than the stag oh uh, yeah i think yeah. so too yeah but not i it, definitely went back to it sooner yeah i don't yeah. think it's necessarily you know, to its detriment. You know, that speaks more to the palette. Mm -hmm. And I think the mm -hmm. palette mm -hmm. is really, really where this shines through. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And the nose is a real close second. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's so sweet. It, it really is sweet. Is. I think this one's a little bit more of a thinker. Than I think the so stag. too. I'm yeah. having a harder time verbalizing my thoughts I, yeah. on this one. It's gonna sound weird, but it's okay. It's like a perfectly seasoned uh, broth. Like I'm, I'm just getting like a, a thicker feel mm -hmm. from it. Like I'm eating um, a bisque or something. It's comfort food. Yeah, it's I mean, like it, comfort it, it obviously has a really nice mouth feel. It's very thick and viscous. I'm getting more of the, of the feel of I just ate yeah. a entree. Okay, you know, <laughs> you know, I honestly get what you're saying when you say the broth, cause it's like kind of sweet, but mm -hmm. still very savory. Yeah. And very hearty. And hearty, yeah. yeah. And there's a lot going on there. And it just feels like, cause broth is something that you let sit for a long time and you put so yeah. many ingredients in it and it absorbs all those flavors. And I totally get that with this. Like it's, it's picking up a lot of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we added five drops of water to these. We're gonna let it sit for a little while. We're gonna come back and we're gonna see what the water did after this. And we're back. We're gonna see what the water did to the weller here. Starting with the nose. A lot more caramel. Yeah, before nothing was really jumping out at me. It was just that warm, homey feeling. Uh, of the nose, and now it's definitely the caramel. No, I think oh. the, I think the nose is now more pronounced. I think so too. Yeah, absolutely. It definitely opened it up. Yeah, because because now I'm finding that there are these like floral notes in there, there too. I was about to say. <laughs> it's okay. You guys can think the same thing. It's we fine. Did. He read my mind. Ooh, man, yeah. A I'm lot more floral. A lot more really caramel. liking the nose some, with the water. Some citrus in there too. I didn't think I could like it better than I did a minute I ago, and now lot, I do. It's a lot better on the yeah. nose with water, which is odd. Let's see what it uh, does to the taste. Okay. So I think what this has kind of proven is that where... Wow. <laughs> is where, you know, we were having trouble with it before. It's kind of like everything was getting muddled. Yeah. Right? And then the water helped everything kind of separate. It helps mm. it speak. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's really speaking to me. Wow. wow. It's, yeah, the, the caramel that was added on the nose is added on the palate as Ooh, well. Yes. Definitely. Ooh, yes. Who? I can't yes. stop smiling like a big dumb <laughs> idiot. Oh my gosh, Are that's you crying good. too? Like a little, I'm tearing up a little bit. I got goosebumps again, 
and I just can't stop smiling like a big dummy. <laughs> I also I mean, think it helped the finish. The finish it is how it definitely did. Everything. Longer. It definitely did. Five drops of water yeah. did that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like that's how it was meant to be. The finish is still going. I'm still going. Too. It's She's still going. And then there's like a little bit of like peanut brittle on yes, there too. Yes. And yes, I, I am definitely on the second sip, definitely getting some nuttiness. Yes. Yes. Dang. Loving it. That is one of the most ridiculous things I have ever had. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> like this, amazing, out of this world. Yeah. But I'm like, I can't wait to go back to this one now. Oh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Real talk. Hashtag. Uh, <laughs> I was... I think I was leaning more towards the stack. Me too. When it was just the well. You oh, too? I definitely was. I agree Absolutely. completely. I... Until we just added this water. Now, and what's now... going to happen when we add water to the stack? I don't know, what but I want to find it? out. Okay, back to the George, the tea stack. George. Sir George. Now, we want to uh, get this on our palate again in its purest form. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add some water. Oh yes, I remember. <laughs> I remember now. Oh, wow. But it's so oh. good though. It's like, no matter which one you go to, it's like, oh, no, this one's the best. Then you have the other one. Oh, no, now this one's the best. I'm going a little bit that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's just make weird noises until we decide. As it's about a hoot a hoot a <laughs> All right, five drops of water have been added to the George D. Stag. Now we're gonna let it sit, let it marinate. We're gonna think about life and we'll be back in a second. We added five drops of water and walked away, thought about life, came back. Now, let's see what's going on. I'm getting more alcohol in the nose. I do. Personally. Actually, you know what? I also do. But it's still underneath that, that aside, it's still like rocking me to sleep a little bit. <laughs> it's okay, little baby Sarah. I get 20 minutes after a breakfast has been cooked in a, ca in a cast iron skillet. Okay, that's what I was... Okay, because what I was kind of thinking was like a steak. Okay. Like it smells kind yeah. of kind of steaky. Like sure. later breakfast. Well, breakfast. it's just, you know, <laughs> what about second breakfast? When you have breakfast, you cook a country breakfast using a cast iron skillet. You maybe walk outside, you come back in the house, and you're like, And it Whoa. smells like what you cooked. Yeah. But it's like faded. It's faded. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Better nose with or without water. I'm going to go without. I agree without. I kind of <laughs> liked the... The punch that it was given before. Yeah. But and I like the Weller with the water better. True. Yes. All right, let's see what it did to the taste. It's completely different. It is. Holy crap. Wow. It's a little, well, huh? It's crazy <laughs> what five drops of water does. You gotta be honest with you. You don't like it with the water. I don't like, I don't it, as like it as much either. It's I, a, It brings out just a little bit of harshness that wasn't there before. It's, it's it, amplifying the heat. And I think the heat was at a perfect level before. Oh. I think so too. And it between the heat and this weird kind of like astringent chemical note almost i think it just that Careful wasn't there before but now <laughs> now it's like calling attention to what tiny tiny bit of that there is yeah it's like yeah. hey i know you didn't see this before but here it is the water's like <laughs> we got oh, a whistleblower circled, over circled here it, pointed it here's my blemishes <laughs> what's yeah. and all amplifying the darker notes it's going more like dark chocolate brittle barrel yeah. type of Very barrel. char mm -hmm. um which again, I just think it was the perfect amount before the water. So, now we're gonna go down the line. We're each gonna say which is our favorite and in what configuration. Sarah. The William Larue Weller with five drops of water. Okay. Very specific, five. Don't do four, it'll taste well, like Well, we also had like a quarter of an ounce left. So <laughs> do six, it'll catch on fire. <laughs> William Larue Weller with a few drops of water. Um, I did six drops. <laughs> I lost my eyebrows. <laughs> I'll have to ask my manager. <laughs> All right, sorry, Simpsons. Perry? Yep. Oh. Without, without water. Without, without water? I never okay. thought, because I'm such a- I was a, tied. This without or this with water? I yeah. This just, without water, I think that if you can find something that is that good, yeah. and you don't have to alter it. Yes. It's excellent. That That's why I- That's a I good point. With that, it, you know. that, I'm glad you said that, Perry, because I wasn't really thinking that way. Just going on what we tasted. Yeah. And I wish I had unadulterated this to try next to this with water. But, uh, no, it's all right, it's okay. <laughs> I remember. Um, I would have to buy a whisker, give it to this with water. Wow, okay. Now, taking into account what you said. <clears throat> I feel the same. It would, it yeah. would go here by itself. 
I and would be delighted it, to have either one any absolutely. day. Absolutely. Yeah. And absolutely. it'll be interesting to see how these open up now yep. that they're both open. Yep. Re revisit these in like a month and, mm -hmm. and see and do the wider thing again. It might flip flop. It might, you know, who knows? We'll do it for We're going to do it again? Yeah. We'll do it for oh the podcast. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Why the heck not? All right. Now, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about price. Let's talk about recommend or not. If we both got these for retail, you know, <laughs> knock on wood that we can always do that. Um, so both around a hundred dollars. Lucky ducks. Yeah. yeah. So retail, uh, yeah. Recommend, uh, recommend. That's a big thumbs Definitely. up for yeah. me. Double exactly. thumbs up. Secondary, you know, do what you, do what you want to do. <sighs> we don't really advocate it, but we understand when you chase those white whales and you just want to have the experience, you might uh, pay a little more. Again, don't advocate it, but. We understand, I guess. We I don't want your life. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there you go. You know, you know what I advocate though is instead of maybe paying secondary for it, is find somebody who's willing to give you a sample. Yes, you they know, got a sample out of their get, bottle, or, maybe. or trade trade samples, trade. Or, or go half in with with a buddy. So yeah, obviously we re recommend. Okay. Woo. Oh wow. That but is... that's just silly because how many yeah. people have the access? But Bam. All right. Obviously. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already and you like what we're doing here, please hit that subscribe button. You, get the, you can hit the bell notification to know when we put our episodes. Give us a thumbs up, comment or question down below in the, in the comments. To find Perry, he is on basically wherever you find podcasts. It's, yes. Uh, you can mm -hmm. go ahead and tell him. Uh, iTunes, Google Store, Spotify, Stitcher, all the big ones. And then if you want to follow us on social media too, at my bourbon pod. Mm -hmm. is where you can do that Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Put out episodes every Wednesday. You can become a patron of the show too, where you get bonus content, patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast. Boom. And bourbonshop.threadless.com if you want to buy this apparel shirt. and merch, much like this one. All right. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> no, um, man. Are you yeah. doing your weekly live still? I am uh, every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. at youtube.com slash my bourbon podcast. Uh, we also do lives on Sundays, uh, of course, right here. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, speaking of <laughs> merch, we have our, our own merch line. It's uh, whiskeyambitions.com is where you can get <laughs> this t-shirt, bourbon eye t-shirt, other ones coming soon, Rock's glasses, and Glen Karen's coming soon, and so on and so forth. What else we got, Sarah? You can become a patron. It's patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. For as little as $1 a month, you can get involved with our community and then conversation. You can find glassware and other things that we use to have our, our bourbon nights. You can have your own bourbon night. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. And you can follow us on all the social media channels at it's bourbon night. Boom, there we go. And also we should say, if you're not familiar, we appear often on Perry's podcast. About every month. He so yeah. lovingly invites about, us on. About <laughs> once a month, this is my bourbon podcast. So so check him out, give him, give him a sub, give him a subscribe. Please. Uh, all right, well, that'll do us. Thanks, Perry. Thank you, Chad. Okay, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad and Perry. All right, Thanks, there Sarah. we go. You're welcome. <laughs> Have we thanked each other now? Yes. We've thanked everybody. Thank uh -huh. you guys. And until next time, drink more bourbon. Boys have a tinkle tinker. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that part.